Before starting this video, just let me tell you that AMD GPUs just have a huge performance increase when it comes to image generation or AI workloads related to ONNX. For example, the 9070 XT have up to 4.3 times better performance with these new AMD ONNX models. And I tested it and it's real. If you have some charts from AMD, you can see it here uh, with the Radeon 9070 XT up to 4.3 times faster. But again, I'll show you very, very soon. Uh, for example, in Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0, 3.1 times faster, uh, up to 2.6 times faster in 3.0 medium and 3.5 large, which is also a way more demanding, demanding benchmark, sorry. We have up to 3.3 times performance. This isn't only for the 9070 XT and the 9070, this applies as well for the Radeon 7000 series, meaning that if you have even a 7600, 7800 XT, 7900 XT or 7900 XTX, those cards will also have huge performance increases when it comes to image generation. And according to what I've read, you can actually use these optimized models on any ONNX application, so they can run on any ONNX application, but you need to tweak some things or you need to do some changes. I did ask AMD about this, but they actually didn't answer how to do it, um, so I didn't do it. But you can just go and download Amuse 3.0, because Amuse 3.0 already has these new things, these new AMD models. So at least in my case, I have the 3.0.1 beta, I don't really know if the 3.0 will work the same way, but I believe it already has these new models. If it doesn't, you need the 3.0.1 beta. And by the way, you also need AMD specified drivers to work with these new models in order to, for the performance to be on par with what AMD states it will be. You need to go to Google and search. As soon as you search Amuse 3, these drivers will appear, AMD software adrenaline 24.30.31.05, and these drivers are the ones ready for the new direct ML, Gen AI, and so on, so on, so on. Basically, they are the ones ready for the new AMD optimized ONNX models. And again, this makes the, the image generation on AMD GPUs and video generation as well, but mostly image generation to be much, much faster. So download these drivers, install these drivers, and then you can run ONNX much faster. But well, let's try Amuse 3.0.1 first. So if you can, amuse me and watch today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. But well, let's try Amuse 3.0.1 first. Again, this is a beta version that I have. And as soon as you go into the software, you have this as, by the way, as you can see, 3.0.1 beta. But the first thing you want to do is go to the expert mode in order to have the model manager. Then you go to the model manager. We have stable diffusion three medium. We have locomotion. I already installed these models, of course. And then you have the AMD optimized. Again, stable diffusion, the normal stable, sta stable diffusion, sorry. And then you have stable diffusion AMD GPU. The ones that you see here saying AMD GPU are the ones that are optimized to work way, way better and way, way faster with um, the AMD GPUs. Again, the ones that support AI cores like the RX 7000 and RX 9000. And of course, those APUs and so on. Now, let's try the image generation. You just go to the image generation, go to the model selector. Let's start with the normal stable diffusion. You load it, ready, and then let's put a prompt. Create an image of a man on top of a hill. Generate and let's see how much time it takes. The first time also takes a bit more than usual. So again, it, uh, it took nine seconds to generate an image and it doesn't look very well. Again, generate and it took 5.2 seconds. Okay, 5.2. If we go again, it will take around the same time, 5.2, 5.3. It is more of the same again. 5.2, 5.2. And if I just go and change the prompt to, let's say, realistic style, and I go to generate again, it will still do the same exact thing. So 5.2 seconds. Again, 5.2. <laughs> this looks crazy. Now, as soon as we go to Stable Diffusion AMD GPU, remember, we took 5.2 seconds. Now, we go Stable Diffusion AMD GPU, load, 
again the same exact prompt and we go generate. The first time it is optimizing the pipeline and it took 4.6 seconds, so much faster. And again, we were optimizing the pipeline. As soon as we go to generate again, bam, 1.6 seconds. So from 5.2 seconds to 1.6 seconds. Yeah, it doesn't look that great creating faces and so on. Create a realistic castle, I would say. Generate 1.6 seconds. And again, it doesn't look it doesn't look good. Oh my god, this looks this looks bad. Now let's try for example the normal stable diffusion 3 medium. Again, load. Now this one takes up to 16 gigabytes VRAM, which is much more than the other one, but at the same time it is also much better. So create a realistic castle. Generate. This one takes much longer than the normal stable diffusion 1.5 because again it is way better. And now we're up to 14 gigabytes of VRAM utilization. A few moments later. So the image is much better, of course, and it is 1024 per 1024, which is double the size of the previous images with Stable Diffusion 1.5. But again, it took over one minute to generate from four point something seconds to one minute. But again, generating another image for the second time takes little less. So we took 55 seconds to create this image with AI. Again, this is the normal Stable Diffusion 3 medium. Now let's try the Stable Diffusion 3 medium, but with AMD GPU, meaning that it is optimized for the AMD GPUs. Again, load the same exact prompt and generate. You can immediately see that it is working way, way faster. The difference is just insane. Again, we're using less VRAM. Instead of 14 gigabytes, we're using 10 gigabytes of VRAM, and it is so much faster. So in the first time, we took like 67 seconds, and now even on the first time making this one, it took only 31 seconds. 60 seconds to 21 seconds after the first uh, loading of the pipeline. From 60 seconds to 21 seconds. So again, one third of the time or three times faster and less VRAM usage, a win-win situation. And by the way, if you want to know more about the Muse, you can do several things with the Muse. You can go to video generation, you can grab this image and can do some video generation with Locomotion or any other model that you download. You can also do upscaling, you can do so many things. For example, generate a realistic castle with, um, let's say, with birds on the background. And it will basically pick this image and generate kind of a slow motion video. You can do 64 frames, for example. Let's try and see what it makes. Now, this does take a lot of time or at least takes a bit of time because of, it's kind of making a GIF out of this image, but it works. Well, it is actually taking way less than I thought it would. Okay, now it is generating the frames. So in only 30 seconds, it, it generated a small GIF, 512, per 512 based on our image uh, with birds on the background like I, I wrote on the prompt, but still it changed a bit uh, of the things of the castle, which I don't really like. It should maintain the things on the castle, the details on the castle, and then basically add the birds. But still, I mean, 30 seconds, which works pretty well. And then you have several other things. Again, we're doing now image to video, but you have video to video, you have frame to frame. Basically, you can just grab an image and change it or stylize it. You can do several things. You have the upscaler. If you have an image with lower with lower quality, you can just go here, select a model for upscaler. You need to download an upscaler model as well and then you can upscale your image. And you can try another one, for example, Stable Diffusion, again, the normal one. Create a realistic tree. Now we're gonna paint something like kind of a hill, then we have the, the trunk of the tree, then this, and let's see what Stable Diffusion does. Let's try a bigger image this time. And we're using again, well, let's use the normal Stable Diffusion one generate. Let's see how much time it takes. Okay, I need to fix this, I guess. Let's try again. So it kind of looks like crap, but at least we made it in seven seconds, which is not that bad. As soon as we go to the AMD model and generate, we do it in 2.3 seconds. First of all, this one looks much better. And instead of seven seconds, we went from seven seconds to 2.3 seconds, which again, 
is much, much faster, over three times faster, which is just crazy. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Basically, I just wanted to show you the difference in performance and that, that the difference that AMD showed is actually real. And in cards like the 9070 and 9070 XT, you have huge performance increases when it comes to image generation with stable diffusion. Again, if you are using a Muse, you already have the models here and you just need to download these new drivers and install them. And you, and you have way, way better performance in ON and X models. And if you want to use it in other applications that use the ONNX runtime as well, you can kind of tweak it on Windows and use it in other applications, at least according from what AMD says. And just for you guys to see that I'm not lying, this is what they're saying here. You can use the ONNX based AMD optimized models through ONNX runtime in any application or code path, but the easiest way to run them is using Amuse 3.0. So again, you can run them through ONNX runtime, meaning that if your application is running ONNX, you can run these models and make things much faster. But again, I don't really know how to do it. I'm not that much into AI, so I would need to search way more. But again, if you are using the, um, the Amuse application, it is just there and again, works much, much faster. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me tell you, let me tell you, <laughs> tell me if you actually used uh, Amuse 3.0. If you know how to use these improvements on other ON and X runtime applications, just let me know in the comment section. Let us know the community in case you know it. And yeah, the improvement is just insane again going up to three times faster or sometimes up for up to four times faster depending on the gpu is just a huge performance increase on the normal model one image takes 60 seconds with 14 gigabytes vram while the same amd model for the same picture and so on for the same prompt everything the same takes only 10 gigabytes vram and does the same generation in 20 seconds huge difference definitely worth it thank you very much once again and see you in the next video Cheers.